Welcome back everybody to Cinelux Crypto. My name is Mike, thank you for joining me this afternoon. Well, it's afternoon for me. This evening, this morning, wherever you may be, whatever you are doing, I hope you're doing well. I'm coming at you with, uh, well, pretty much my second to last video from Tulum, Mexico, because we're going home on Saturday morning. I'm excited about that. I have another video that I'm gonna be doing right after this one, because I got a couple back-to-back -back things I wanna talk about. Two very separate things. Um, the next one, we'll be talking about a couple altcoins that I pretty much just aped into and like to talk to you about them just a little bit. Uh, but for today, what I really wanna talk about is what I wanted to talk about yesterday, but um, well, we're gonna save that for today. So here we are. Um, basically, you guys, <clears throat> I've been into cryptocurrency for about five years now, give or take a couple of months, and yesterday, the day before, and even into today, is the most extreme volatility I have ever personally experienced in, these, in this market. I mean, we all saw what happened. We all saw the news. You know, China came out. It was stacked on top of the Elon Musk news and all this other stuff, um, and dropped Bitcoin all the way down to 30K pretty quickly um, and of course a lot of the altcoins dipped and we all know the story by now this time because I'm a little bit late to the news um, but really I watched this stuff happen in real time and uh, you know it's a little scary about you know buying the dips at those kinds of um, those kind of entry points or exit points but to see Bitcoin shoot down to 30k like 30,200 something dollars and then go right back up basically to 40k and then go back up to 42k and then under 40k and I mean the volatility has been has been unreal and so just so you guys know, you know, being here in Tulum, being on vacation and well, business and pleasure, but you know, running into people, going out to eat and uh, just hearing people even walking by, I'm hearing everybody talk about cryptocurrencies. In fact, even last night, um, my friend and I, we were out uh, having um, having dinner in Tulum and um, the people to the left of us and the people to the right of us, we all kind of were at the same table. Everybody was talking about cryptocurrency and, and it was it was a separate thing and we were kind of in the middle of it. And, and just, I'm going on this rant to tell you guys that I'm hearing on a retail level, people like you and me, in fact, some of the people that I met last night, I hope you guys are watching this video, you guys know who you are. They were talking about how they made their very first purchase into cryptocurrency yesterday. And I said, good for you. What a great place to enter this market because we're experiencing a massive dip. And um, they kind of went on to tell me a little bit about what they did and what they were buying and, and so on and so forth. And I was telling the gentleman to the left of me, a guy from Germany, you know who you are, bro. Nick, you're the man. Um, you know, we were talking about a, a, a variety of things, but mostly the, the fear that can be involved, even in a pro trader like myself, um, with this kind of volatility, because we don't exactly know when our personal entry point into this dip is, because you see dips and you see dead cat bounces, and then you see dips again, and then you see run-ups because everything becomes from overbought to oversold. And um, we were talking about that, and he's really unsure as to you know what exactly is going on. And he made some entries into some things himself. He got some really good deals. Look, everything has been on sale. It was more on sale yesterday. I mean, there was obviously a massive bottom, but you saw it get bo uh, bought up really quickly, which to me obviously speaks more of manipulation. You guys know I'm really on top of the fact that news articles and, and FUD storms seem to happen together and there's a ton of manipulation happening. So look, somebody made a lot of money because somebody bought Bitcoin at roughly 30K and and shot it back up and already made 25% on their entry points. I think that, that that sort of a movement shows me it's not necessarily just retail. It's mostly institution. It's big money. Um, there's a lot of big money that buys publicly, like Michael Saylor and some other people. And then there's a lot of big money that you'll never hear about that's buying these dips. Um, whether they're part of the orchestration of these dips, we don't really know. But the point is, you guys, is... Um, I was talking to Nick and I was saying, listen to this conversation these people on the right of us having. There are three people right there who essentially just got into crypto for the first time, coming in on a dip. Awesome. Look, there's no reason to be scared or shaken out of your positions, especially if you're involved in things that you really believe in. Um, a lot of the projects that are really, really good are vastly on sale today, even as far back as yesterday. I still would like to see where things are going because this is massive volatility and it totally can be scary, even for people who do this all the time, like myself and, and other people that I've met who are uh, more, you know, uh, they've got more time in the game. So, um, you know, if it's rattling, you know, people's boats like us, I can see how that would rattle you know, a lot of newcomers. So this video is mostly for people. Well, I guess this is for everybody, really, because like I said, even I'm like, wow, OK, w what do I do here? Um, I love seeing things on sale. I love the recovery that we're seeing is good. Um, is this, you know, um, are we out of the dip? I, I don't know. It's hard to really say. It's hard to really, you know, even give advice because I'm, I'm not a financial advisor. But um, 
I still expect to see volatility is what I'm saying. I don't know if it's going to be as radical as what we've just witnessed, but there's certainly a lot of um, competing ideas right now as to when should people buy, when should people sell. Personally, for me, I would never sell on a dip like this because it's not what I got into crypto for in the first place. I'm more interested in where do I buy because, you know, I've got a little fiat sitting on the side just uh, waiting for me to identify the project, which I've pretty much done. If I do, I'm probably going to go back into Matic or um, I'm probably going to go into some more uh, Cardano or Ethereum. Those are the top three targets I would have on this dip. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't around to hit that bottom, but we're all not really going to hit the bottom specifically just like we're not gonna hit the top specifically so I just wanted to put out this video to you guys to let you know yes I'm aware of what's going on obviously uh, I'm aware that there's massive dips happening I'm aware that the, the pendulum is swinging very very this is vicious volatility so choose your entry points wisely definitely dollar cost average on the way down just like you would on the way up because uh, there could be more dips coming I, I do like the recovery like I just said a few minutes ago it's nice to see that the bottom is not falling out the sky is not falling nothing is going to zero right now um, it's just we, we kind of got to wait to see how this plays out because the China news it, it's 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 like big news because the news makes it big but really if you look underneath the surface and start reading up on the articles about it it's not a big deal okay we've been here before China has done this so many times we cannot count on what simply what China says as a communist country and the fact that they change their minds all the time it's like India you know yes they're the two biggest nations in the world but they both they go back and forth. To me, that's just an opportunity for manipulation. I don't know if it's, I don't know if the Chinese government is swooping up Bitcoin cheap. If they were smart, they would be. In fact, if any government was smart, they would be. Or I don't know if it's, you know, big uh, Chinese whales, investors who are tied. Look, there's anything is possible. This is crypto, right? Um, but, uh, you know, the news drives the whales to take advantage of the news. You guys have heard me say all this stuff before. I guess what I'm really trying to say is just be ultra aware and don't throw all of your ammunition at once into any project right now because uh, unless you're prepared to hold through what could be another dip and and in other words don't get in right now if you're going to sell at a loss it just that just makes zero sense at all um, if you're playing with your lunch money or your, your your rent money you know this isn't the time to be messing around with crypto but if you've got some fiat on the side and you've been waiting for something like this to happen this is obviously a good time to start the process of getting into projects that you like okay we're not talking about the doge coins and the sheena ibus and all of the the uh the the, the crap coins you know uh that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for solid projects because look, when this recovery uh, is in full swing again, um, those good projects, those those solid projects with multi-billion dollar market caps are probably where you want to focus on before you start trying to find things with four or five million dollar uh, market caps and, and hope for the moon, okay? Um, we want to see things kind of start at the top. We want to see Bitcoin become healthy again, uh, which I think it is healthy. Um, we want to see Ethereum obviously become healthy. We want to see Cardano continue to push. We want to see really good things start to do, um, to get back to where they were before all of this, this crazy FUD storm and, and all this stuff happened. So, uh, listen, uh, be wise, be smart, stay on top, do your work, do your own research, do your do all your due diligence. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, don't get tempted to just throw it all in because, yes, this has been pretty gnarly. But to go from 30K to 40K pretty quickly, you know, obviously that dip was completely manipulated because it didn't last very long. So, um, yeah. Like I said, be smart. I love you guys. Um, thank you for uh, joining and for watching me today. Listen, if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that little red button. Uh, doesn't take more than a second. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Your choice. Help me trigger the algorithm. Please feel free to share these videos with anybody. Uh, to all the new people that I've met in Tulum that have joined my channel, hello to all of you. I appreciate you being here. Um, you know, the conversations I've been having with, with some of you have been amazing, very enlightening for me as a crypto YouTuber and um, somebody who does this uh, for a living. It's nice to share stories with you. It's nice to um, know where you're coming from and start to realize the, um, really the retail market because we have no control over what the big boys do. We are retail. We're the small fish in a very big pond. But listen, we do own a piece of the pie. If we combine ourselves together, we own a nice slice of that pie. And if we hold on and if we don't get shaken out and if we don't let the news scare us and if we do um, understand what we're doing for the big picture here, you know, we can affect the market because there's no reason to sell um, when things are on the way down. You should be selling when you're in profit. That's my preach to you today. Don't take losses that you don't need to take losses. 
the sky is definitely not falling. Um, hang on to your positions, increase your positions at the right time and take profits because this is a perfect example of exactly why we gotta have a little firepower on the side because there's never gonna be a day uh, in crypto until maybe the market cap is in the multi, multi trillions and it's harder to, to manipulate. There's never gonna be a day where these things don't happen. We've seen them happen time and time and time again, nothing new under the sun. Um, yeah, happy trading, have a great time. Peace.